A lot of people don't realize they're taking care of their corn snake incorrectly. This right here is my corn snake Sozin. My name is Dr. Rachel Sue. I'm a vet that works with exotic pets and I'm here to teach you about corn snake husbandry in three minutes or less. Corn snakes are one of the most popular pet snakes due to their small size and ease of care. Adults can get to around six feet in length, but they typically range around three to four feet. With good care, their lifespan is around 10 to 20 years. And to tell the difference between males and females, you typically have to probe them. I typically like a 40 gallon tank for them, but the bigger the better. This tank should have two hides, one on the cold side and one on the hot side of the tank. It should also have a water bowl deep enough to soak in, and you can also include a human hide as well. The temperature should be on a gradient, with the warm side being 85 to 90 degrees, and the cool side being around 70. I typically prefer overhead heating or a heat mat on the side, but please don't use a heat mat on the bottom as this can cause burns. Unlike some other reptiles, they don't require UVB lighting. Humidity should be around 50 to 60%. Without proper humidity, you lead to shedding problems and sometimes respiratory infections. They should eat appropriately sized rodents, which means something that is smaller than the widest portion of their body. You should be feeding young or juveniles about twice a week, but adults can be fed up once a week. I always prefer frozen thawed rodents as I've seen some pretty serious wounds from live prey. Just make sure to warm them up in water to around 99 degrees. Although you might see corn snakes housed together in pet stores, they are solitary animals and you should only have one per cage. There are lots of different substrates available, each coming with their pros and cons. Make sure you stay away from sand, cedar, or pine. Newspaper, paper towels, and artificial turf might be able to be cleaned easier, um, but they don't provide burrowing opportunities like they would in the wild. More experienced reptile keepers can use bioactive substrate, which is good enrichment, but I wouldn't recommend it for ill snakes or juvenile snakes. I also recommend feeding them on a plate so they don't ingest any of the material. I also like to include lots of cover in their enclosure to make them feel secure. One thing to look out for are respiratory infections, so if you ever notice them wheezing or blowing bubbles, bring them to your vet immediately. We also sometimes see mites on them, so it's always good to bring them to your vet for a yearly checkup. We can also see dystocia or egg binding in the females, and they don't have to be mated in order to produce eggs. That's why it's always good to know if you have a male or a female. I'm about out of time, let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and I hope you like my video. One more thing, don't kiss your snakes as they can carry salmonella, even though it's tempting.